Welcome to Airbus. Hi, I am Christian Dörr and today I would like to find out how the COVID-19 crisis affects daily weather forecasts. I am here with Philippe Pham, who leads Airbus's space activities for Earth observation, navigation and science satellites. Hi Philippe, welcome to this program. Hi Christian, thanks for the opportunity to share today. Philippe, you're a real space guy. Throughout your career, you have covered all aspects of the space industry. Perhaps you can tell us a little more about this. Yes, space industry is really a, a dream, going from telecommunications to navigation, Earth observation, exploration, a lot of domains, incredible domains that uh, can bring a lot to, uh, to mankind and to services on Earth. Philippe, some of the satellites your teams develop are used for climate monitoring and weather forecasting. They not only help meteorologists with daily forecasts, but also natural disasters such as floods or typhoons, thus saving many lives. And in times of Corona, they also support where aircraft can't. Philippe, it may not be obvious and not many people may know this, but the recent drop in commercial flights also affects measurements for weather forecasts. Why is that? Well, under normal circumstances, commercial aircraft equipped with sensors would supply measurements of temperature, wind speed and wind direction in the atmosphere below 13 kilometers. Institutions such as the European Center for Medium Range Weather Forecasts in the UK rely on these measurements as they make their weather forecasts much more accurate. In COVID times, measurements from aircraft across Europe have dropped by 90%. But meteorologists are still able to forecast the weather reliably several days ahead, for example by releasing more radio sounds, but also thanks to a demonstrator satellite that we at Airbus launched two years ago and that is operated by ESA. Quatre, trois, deux, un, top! You are referring to the wind sensing satellite Aeolus. How does it help to forecast the weather? Well, weather is a product of chaotic processes and even very small changes in the atmosphere can lead to completely different weather conditions in the long term. This is why it is important to have the best possible understanding of the current state of the atmosphere before starting to calculate what the weather will be like days and weeks ahead. We built the satellite so that ESA can demonstrate how new space-borne technology could profile Earth's wind to better understand how wind, pressure, temperature and humidity are interlinked, contributing to climate research and weather forecasting. So Aeolus is going beyond the call of duty? Indeed. Aeolus has not only proved successful as a technology demonstrator, and of value to science, but has exceeded expectations. Iolus is proving to be so effective that while before COVID-19 aircraft accounted for three times more data than Aeolus, our satellite has now moved ahead as a data source for wind measurements in Europe. No one ever expected a situation like this that's been brought about by COVID-19, but it's great to see that pioneering Airbus mission is filling a vital gap and is playing an important role for Europe during this awful crisis. Philip, last November, your team hosted a delegation of important Asian customers. They told you how important Airbus weather satellites were for them as they helped to better predict typhoons, among others, thus saving many lives. Earth observation, climate monitoring and meteorology are a great example of global collaboration. All data from meteorological satellites are shared for free with the aim to allow all people in the world to enjoy the benefits of this science. Predicting a hurricane or a flood saves lives and also gives us the opportunity to protect goods. 
the better our satellites perform, the better we can support a better life on Earth and save lives. Philippe, many thanks for your insights and all the best. Thank you, Christian. Thanks for having the opportunity to share 